Descent. And there's a bit to unpack on this because tonight on a Wednesday night we're still no closer to understanding what the hell's going on and I'll get to that in a few moments time but let's have a look first of all. Jimmy you are the football director of GWS. Um, take us through what the club's feeling at the moment because we're going to work through the situation where it was leaked basically that Stephen Cornelio had been dissenting all through the day and this was a cumulative free kick. What's your thoughts? Yeah, first and foremost, as a club, uh, we're not taking anything away from Carlton. They were the better side, and probably if they kicked straighter, the lead would have been bigger. But we're right in the running for that game, and we feel like the discussion is a great discussion to have regard to respect to umpires, but we don't feel like the discussion needs to extend to having a crack at Steve Cornelio's football character and a person who's extremely well respected in the football com uh, community and actually sits on the competition committee. That's how uh, high respect he has. So, 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 so does he take offence at that? Because I haven't heard him speak yet, Jimmy. I've heard no. the, the coach speak today. We'll have a look at that in a moment, Ed. Do you take offence on his behalf? Because it does. It, it's fair to assume that Dan Richardson, the boss of the umpires, has, has fed that information back to the club that this was an ongoing matter for him during this game prior to that moment. Yeah, look, uh, I, I don't know how to speak for, for Dan Richardson, but I, I know Steve Cornelio a lot better than I know Dan Richardson. And, um, look... The, how I hold Stephen Cornelio, I can't imagine that being his character and I think a lot of people at the Giants would back me up in saying that. I know the coach uh, would say the exact same thing. As you said, we'll probably hear from it a bit shortly. But uh, uh, we, we, we just feel like you, you just don't need to add that element. Well, let me go through this. Harold Sun understands, and this is John Ralph did a great story. That's good reporting. AFR Empire Independence feedback is the football department was Cornelio's demand for a free kick was not a one-off during the game. Now, Damo, and you, you and I have been around a long time. Yep. That's a strategic leak. Well, where it's come against from... Against the player... Yeah. No, but, but, ..to mitigate against the... ..having a good look at what's going yeah. on here. Yeah, and that was also contained in the initial statement um, in, in the text form. And we'll just take a look at the uh, the paragraph in, in question when it, it does make reference to this. The umpires understand in the heat of battle there are going to be times regarding this rule, whether it has been an accumulation across the match or a single response, a time comes where they need to make a call. Now, the, the accumulation reference there confused, I think, a lot of people. Yeah. And, and I wasn't aware, Lordy, right. and you've played the game as well as anyone. Well, I was on the rules committee. That was never any yeah. part of it. So what are we going to do it's now? It's either a decision at that point in yeah. time or, or it's not. Or, you or, can't or we're going to bring in. out a yellow card now and say, oh, yeah. you nearly, was nearly dissent, but if you do two more of those, we're going to get you. I mean, we've got to get past this situation in football where it's all niceties. We all agree... Stop the dissenting of the umpires. So, uh, and leave the umpires out of this. We're having a go at what happened from Monday onwards, yep. not what happened at the game. You can't have this anymore. If you're going to have no dissent, no dissent. If you go like that, free kick. You do it twice. If, if Keneally did say something, do it early on. That's it knocked on the head. Yep. It's like the 666. At what stage do you have a rule and say, that's the rule? Counter six, there, there and there. Mm. Otherwise, it's a free And they're still offering this, warnings on that. Not yeah. wanting to hurt anyone's feelings and be nice to everybody. Just make the rule and say, it's, if you make any dissent, bang. Lloydie, yeah. what's your uh, thoughts My on view this? on this is it's amazing uh, how last week, when there was deliberate out-of-bounds, with the contentious <laughs> North and Fremantle decision, that by Sunday morning, we were sitting here on the Sunday footy show and the AFL was very quick to get out vision to justify that they believe they got this right. Whereas in this case, nothing Sunday, we get to five o'clock Monday, and suddenly it's a wishy-washy still where Jack Revolt said, I'm, I'm none the wiser. Adam Kingsley said, I'm none the wiser. Suddenly you drag in that uh, Stephen Kinelio had done it a number of times. I feel like rather than just put your hand up and say, you know what, mm. we got this wrong on this occasion, which never ever happens, Damo, that they're digging the hole further for yeah, themselves and, and, and alienating themselves further from the game by handling it. Oh, this so way. Just, just to give background on that aspect yeah, of it, yeah. it um, they don't want to go that. And, and I get this part of it. It's, it's the focus on the umpire in question. Now, and then they don't want to go down that path because of retention of umpires and recruitment of umpires. I, I get that aspect of it, but the, I still think you can have what you've said and, and make your message stronger, clearly. Yeah, but than this what is have. what ends up happening. Ray Chamberlain, one of the senior umpires, who I really respect Ray and his opinion on football was on with Jared Waitley on SEN today and he had a completely different answer than the AFL press release. Was Saturday an outlier? Saturday was a situation where everyone's talking about it so you can do the maths on that. There's no accumulation factor okay? God I wish there was. Oh look I think probably every umpire that's ever held a whistle in any sport wishes there was right and again you know it, it has to be judged on that individual moment, does this meet the criteria or not? 
OK, that was well considered and well articulated, mm. except this was the AFL media release that came out from Dan Richardson, the AFL boss. We'll see it again. We showed it to you. Roll it again. There it is. Whether it has been an accumulation across the match or a single response, a time comes where they need to make a call. Mm. So again, there is an accumulation because they said it was an accumulation. It, 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 to me, it just can't, and it's just no. muddy, an already Nuts. very muddy issue out of the weekend. Right. And the fact that it's Wednesday night and we're still talking about it in this context is, is enough to be said on the matter. I believe in the past, the way players would have carried themselves towards umpires, there may have been an accumulation factor because you can imagine what it was like in the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, the abuse towards umpires. There may have been a point where they go, you know what, I'm going to give it to you and, and pay a free yeah. kick. But I think in today's... I'd be shocked with the way the players are so respectful, better than ever. Just make it easy. Don't dissent. Yeah. You do. Yeah. You yeah. get a free yeah. kick. Yeah. Let's have a look at Adam Kingsley, who, for the first time in his coaching career, had to step up and have a bit of a crack back at the AFL. Certainly, I know the, the rhetoric has been around. It was a, you know, a reaction to a numerous events. Well, I can tell you that is just complete rubbish. That's not the case at all. So anyone who wants to attack the decision from that angle is, is completely wrong. Adam, are you referring there to, I guess, the inference that Stephen Cornelio was whinging about free kicks for the whole match? That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's complete rubbish. Good on him. Stood up for his player, made it clear. Let's roll a couple of incidents. One with Cornelio earlier in the game. This is in the second quarter. Take us through this, Jimmy. Yeah, he's been pinged holding the ball, which he was pretty disappointed with. He's even got the hands out there. So if, if you're strict on it, you're probably pinging him from 50 there as well. So I guess that's where the frustration came from. That's the same umpire down in the 50 on and the free kick. This is one minute after the uh, controversial free kick, and McGovern has got his arms out. Yep. I, I think same thing, exactly the same thing a minute later. Now, OK, you can pick, mm. pick and choose on those sorts of things. I mean, I think a player doing that is not that big a deal. I think dissent is when you actually get in the umpire and you get right in them. I don't like the pointing at the scoreboard routine, all that sort of nonsense. We know what dissent is, but I don't think this, this accumulation, unless you actually yellow card them, and I think that would be ridiculous, but you've got to know. People at the ground, stop treating the supporters as mugs. And, and come out with spin after spin after spin. Just tell us the truth. And what would make it easier, and e easier is if you had a head of football. How can you run the biggest football competition in the country six months after your head of football went to become a coach and not have a head of football? I buy for a little while that they're waiting for the new CEO to come in and put his team in, but you've got to put somebody in at least as the interim. There has to be a head of football in a football competition. Somebody who answers it. Dan Richardson got pushed out the other day with that press release written by the spin doctors and has been made look like a fool now. And the whole competition yeah. looks stupid. Oh, you're 100% yeah. and there'll be no... F I think we'll get back to what it was last year. Yeah, and, um, and that's the point I was going to make, Lordy. I yeah. think by the end of the year, I think whenever we saw in the commentary box or fans and we saw someone get pinged for 50 from dissent, I think we all went, geez, he must have gobbed off and been a bit disrespectful. I, I think that's where we thought it was at. And if it was out of football, they would have rung the clubs last week and said, listen, people are getting chirpy next yeah. week. Carry on and see what happens. First, first go, as soon as you put your hands out, bang. And that would have been it. And here we are on the Wednesday. I don't know, what, what does Ray Chamberlain do when he umpires this week? Does he go on an accumulation? or does No, he, he won't. I mean, he said he won't. Away. He said it doesn't exist. No, so. I want Eddie's yeah. point, which yeah. I agree 100%, yeah. which has got us in this problem because we haven't got any leaders leading the way. How far off are we? Because it's becoming faster. Yeah, well, it is. And, and it is linked to the uh, CEO post. And, and if it is Andrew Dillon or not Andrew Dillon, either way, he's going to have a say and a shaping of yeah. whoever it's going to be as head of footy because Dillon's, of the role he plays there at the moment. Andrew Dillon normally is in charge of this. He's got too much on his plate. He's right got, now he's got, he does. He's got concussion. He's got the Hawthorne situation. Well, he's, he's going through the final stages else. of the application to be he's the, the CEO. He's got to try and get the job. Put someone in the job. Yeah, no, Just, I agree with that. Even if it's for, you know, for yeah, a month. Temporary. Yeah.